What's going on YouTube? This is Ultima I Device Vids, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak your iPhone 4, your iPhone 3GS, and your iPod Touch 4th generation running iOS 6.1.3 or 6.1.5. Now this is a complete untethered jailbreak, meaning you will not have to plug your device back into your computer every time you turn it off in order to boot it fully back up. It will boot on its own. This is untethered. It's completely normal. And again, it will work only on the iPhone 4, the iPhone 3GS, and the iPod Touch 4th generation. However, it works with both versions, iOS 6.1.3 and 6.1.5. Now, if you guys are currently tethered jailbroken already and you want to get an untethered jailbreak, you guys do not want to follow this video. All you guys have to do is click on the link down below in the description. There will be a link down there to another video that will show you guys how to convert your tethered jailbreak into an untethered jailbreak. Again, this video is just to how to get an untethered jailbreak from the beginning. If you guys are already jailbroken tethered, you could easily convert it into an untethered jailbreak and learn how to do so. Again, just watch the video down below in the description and that will show you how to do that. Now, in order to do this jailbreak, you guys will need three things downloaded onto your computer. The first one is iTunes. You're not actually gonna be using iTunes, however, you will need it installed on your computer in order to do this jailbreak. You also need the Red Snow program, which is what we're going to be using to jailbreak our device. And you will also need the iOS 6.0 IPSW file. Now, even though our device is running on iOS 6.1.3 or 6.1.5, we need to download the iOS 6.0 IPSW file. And all the download links for all of these things are down below in the description. You can find a link down there. And I'm just going to quickly show you guys all the links. So down below in the description, again, there are going to be these three links. The first one will take you to this website, Apple's website. Just make sure you download iTunes right here. Click download now. And after that's installed, you want to go to the dev team blog, which is the, for Red Snow, and you want to scroll all the way down until you see Red Snow 0.9.15 B3. And again, if you're on Windows, make sure you download the Windows one. If you're on Mac, just download it for OS X. And again, just make sure that you download the correct one for your operating system. And the third link will actually take you to this website where you can download the iOS 6.0 IPSW. Again, make sure you do not download iOS 6.1.3 or 6.1.5. So again, you guys just want to scroll down on this website and find iOS 6.0. Now on this website, it will be listed as 6.0.0. Again, it is 6.0, but this website is going to list it as 6.0.0. So because I am jailbreaking my iPhone 3GS in this video, I am going to find, as you can see here, 6.0.0 3GS. And this is the link right here. Again, if you guys have an iPod Touch 4th generation or an iPhone 4, just find, again, 6.0.0 for that device. And once you have downloaded that, this is what the three items are going to look like. And the first thing you guys want to do is just double click on the Red Snow folder. And inside you will find Red Snow, the application. If you guys are on a Mac, just double click on it and press open. If you're on a Windows computer, you're going to right click on it and select run as administrator. And just make sure you select allow. And it'll look like this once it opens up. And you will notice at the bottom it does say connected iPhone 6.1.3. And this is my iPhone 3GS, by the way, that I am jailbreaking in this video. Of course, it's running 6.1.3. And once you're in here, you want to select Extras, select IPSW, and then you're going to go to wherever you have your iOS 6.0 IPSW file saved on your computer. Again, not 6.1.3 or 6.1.5, it has to be 6.0, and you're going to select it and press Open. And then you're going to get this successfully identified build. Make sure you click OK. And if you guys do have an iPhone 3GS, you will get this pop-up. It's going to ask you if you have a newer model of the iPhone 3GS. And if you guys have another device, if so if you guys have the iPod Touch 4th generation or the iPhone 4, you will not get this pop-up. But anyways, if you guys do have an iPhone 3GS, you will need to know whether you have a newer or older model. And I'm just going to quickly explain to you guys what that means and how you find out which one you have. So how you find out is on your iOS device, you want to go into Settings. You're going to go to General. And you're going to go to About. And you're going to scroll down until you find your serial number. And what, what you guys want to look at in the serial number is the third, the fourth, and the fifth digits of the serial number. As you can see for me, that is 119. And what, what it basically means is the third digit, which for me is 1, represents the last digit of the year your iPhone was made in. So that means my iPhone was made in 2011 because it's a 1. Now the fourth and the fifth digit represent the week numbers. So that's... 19. So my iPhone was made on the 19th week of 2011. Now, if your iPhone was made on or after 
the 45th week of 2009, you have a newer model. If your iPhone was made before the 45th week of 2009, you have an older model. So because mine was made on the 19th week of 2011, that means I have a newer model. Now that may be a little bit confusing, but again, just make sure you correctly identify which model you have. And again, this is just for iPhone 3GS users. Everybody else will not get this pop-up. Now because I have a newer one, I'm going to select yes. And after you've done that, make sure you just click back on Red Snow, and you're going to select Jailbreak. Now you guys will get a loading bar. This will just take a few seconds to prepare itself. And once it's done, you guys will be on this screen. All you want to have checked is install Cydia, and if you guys have an iPod Touch 4th generation, you will have the option to enable battery percentage, and that will also be checked. So if you do want that feature, you can have that checked, but again, the most important thing that you do have checked is install Cydia. So once you've made sure that that is checked, again, it will be checked automatically, you could just click next. And at this stage, it will ask you to power off your device, and that's what you want to do. You just want to hold down the power button on the top of your device while it's plugged in, and just make sure it is plugged in at the same time that you're turning it off and slide to power off. And once your device is completely off, you can actually select the next button and it's gonna give you instructions to put your device into something called DFU mode. Now it will walk you through it and it is pretty simple. So you just wanna select next and you're gonna hold the power button down for three, two, one seconds. Then combined with the home button for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one seconds. And then release the power button and continue to hold the home button until red snow gives you a loading bar at the bottom so just continue to hold the home button and there's that loading bar you can release the home button at this point and it will proceed and you will get this logo on your device it's going to say downloading jailbreak data it will then say done on your computer and you will have a lot of code running down on your device that's completely normal and eventually you're going to get this pineapple logo on your device and you'll get a loading bar at the bottom again just be patient this process can take a while just do not disconnect your device just keep it plugged in throughout the entire process and after a long time it will move on from the moving application stage and it will start going a lot faster as you can see with the installing bundles phase and then it's going to reboot your device and you'll be back on the app logo now just continue to have it plugged in you're not done yet just wait for your device to reboot and after your device reboots you guys just want to power it right off so hold down the power button and slide to power it off and just wait, wait for it to completely turn off before you proceed and once your device is completely off you can actually select quit on red snow and once it's completely quit go back into the folder and just right click on it again run as administrator if you're on windows if you're on mac just double click and select open but again if you're on a windows computer you want to right click on it run as administrator and then select allow and once you guys are inside this again you want to select extras again Select IPSW and select the same thing, the iOS 6.0 IPSW, select Open and OK. And again, if you have a 3GS, you're going to need to select whether you have a newer or older model. Mine's newer, so I'm going to select Yes. And after that, you guys want to select the first option, Just Boot. So select Just Boot. And once you guys are on this screen, your device is already off, so you could just select Next. And you're going to put your device into DFU mode again. So click next and again it's those same instructions that we had before it's the power button for three seconds find the home button for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one seconds again release the power button and continue to hold the home button until red snow gives you the loading bar at the bottom just continue to hold it and there's that loading bar we can release the home button at this point and it will proceed and on your computer it will say done eventually and you will get this pineapple logo on your device again just keep the device connected we're not done yet and once your device restarts this time just slide to unlock again and it's going to take you to wherever you would space on your home screen and you will see Cydia now you want to open Cydia up and inside select user and then press done and just give it a second to load up and once you guys are inside of Cydia you want to select ignore temporarily to that pop up and then you're going to select search and you're going to search for P0S, and it should pop up right there. It's P0SIXSPWN. And the spelling for this will be down below in the description, so you could go get that there. And once you found that, you want to select it. And this is what you want to install on your device. So just select Install and Confirm, and just give it a second to download onto your device. And once it says it's complete at the top, you could select Return to Cydia. And once you've done that, just exit right out to the home screen and reboot your device directly after you've installed it. So hold down the power button and slide to power off. 
And once it's fully off, just hold the power button to turn it back on and just give this a few minutes to boot up. And if you guys are having trouble getting your device to boot up, if it's just hanging at the app logo, it's not getting past it, what you guys can do is hold the home and the power buttons for 10 seconds and your device will flash black and then it'll go back to the app logo and it should boot up fine. And again, before doing that, wait about six minutes and your device should boot up fine without having to do that. But again, if it's just staying there endlessly, that's what you can do when it should boot up fine. But again, you shouldn't have to do that and it should just boot up fine on its own. And once your device restarts, you could slide to unlock and slide over and now you could open Cydia and access all of your favorite jailbreak tweaks and again not have to worry about plugging your device back into your computer every time you turn it off. This is an untethered jailbreak. It works perfectly. And thanks for watching this video and I will see you guys later.